Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Zach B, and welcome back to another brand new episode here on Blowout Gaming. Guys, today is a very overdue breeding video. We are going to be going over the ultimate breeding guide with Mutagen. That's right, guys. And I don't want to waste any time. Smash that like button, hit subscribe. Let's jump right into it. First things first, guys, we need to get a good selection of the dino that we want to mutate. In most instances, as in this case, we're going to be doing up a boss army of Gigas. That's right. Gigas are the toughest dino in the game, and we're going to take advantage of that by boosting these stats into an ultimate army. Now, the first thing that we have to understand, the stats are randomly assigned. So this first one here, we have a health of 15,958, a melee of 245%, and it came out as a level 270, which is our max level. Now, right next to it, guys, you can see this is a level 268. Not quite a max level. Zero mutations, also in the wild, no imprint. And you can see here that the health is a little bit less, which you might expect from a little bit lower level. However, if we take a look at the melee, that says 260% compared to the level 270s, 245% which means, guys, we have to get a good selection so that we can get the best of each stat. Now, we're not looking to mutate every single one of these stats. We're looking for the health, and we're looking for the melee. These are the two main ones that I'm looking for, and that's what we're going to start off with. So we have our Gigas out, and I actually have them named. This one's our melee, this one's our stam, this one's our weight, and then this one is our health. The next step, we need to boost these. Now, with the introduction of Mutagen in Genesis 2, we are now able to boost our dinos before breeding and able to level them up even further. Now, this stat boost is actually 20 total levels. So, as you can see, guys, a 268 should be a level 288. All it takes is a little bit of Mutagen. And I say a little bit because it's actually a lot, and it's a real grind. 99 pieces I need. And as you can see, we just went up to a 288. Now, what does this mean, guys? It means that all of our important levels here, health, stamina, weight, and melee, all just got a boost. So this one here is going to be our stamina. This is our weight. And then last but not least, our health. You have to use the mutagen before you turn on the mating. Because the next step is to take all of these stats and put them into one breedable mating pair. A male and a female with all of the best stats. But first, I'm going to have to find a male because all of these are females. So let's go ahead and actually grab this one out. And we'll use this to create our perfect pair. Now, again, guys, we're just going to do this one at a time. So let's go ahead and throw this out. And then we're going to get this breeding with our melee First of all, uh, this one I'm also going to do the mutagen with, just so that it doesn't mess up the levels. We want the levels to be as close as possible. Let's go ahead and turn on the breeding. Behavior, enable mating. Behavior, enable mating. Now remember guys, we don't have to go crazy. We just need a couple of eggs. And then once we get a male with 285%, we'll go ahead and swap that out for this male. And we'll go ahead and collect on the stam. And then we'll do that again with the weight. And we'll do that again with the health. And all of these stats that we've now boosted because of our mutagen will be carried on to our offspring however if we combine them when they were at level 260 and then tried to put the mutagen in we wouldn't get that 20 level stat bonus so that's the most important thing guys when we're dealing with the mutagen we have to do it correctly it has to be in the right order we will do mutagen again to fully fully evolve the already mutated dinos but for right now Let's just collect up a couple eggs, and then I'm going to take you to the egg incubator and show you what we're working with there. So, guys, we are looking for 285 on the melee. And on the front display here, we're going to see everything we want to see. Now, this display is a little bit different than the cryopod because these numbers that are displayed next to the symbols are the stat points that I've been talking about. And as you can see, this first one here on the melee is 53 stat points into melee. So that's pretty significant, which is what we're looking for is a number in the 50s for sure. 53, 53, and 53. Now, the question is, is 53 
the number that we're looking for. To answer our question, let's go ahead and just hatch one real quick and see if 53 stat points is 285. Access inventory, 285. So there you go, guys. 285, it has transferred over on the offspring. It's not a mutation, it's just flat out levels, which means that it's gonna be 53 total stat points into melee. So when we're looking for eggs moving forward, we always needed to have 53 points into melee. That's what we're looking for. All right, guys, so I just picked up the male and female melee because it does look like we finally have a male, there it is, with 53 stat points into melee. Now, the good news is with all of these, I can actually show you the alternative, which was a male with 43 stat points into melee. So that was the lower side. We were obviously looking for the better stat points. Next step, I'm gonna raise this up, replace it, and then I'm gonna start breeding with the stamina, and we're gonna get the high stamina with the high melee, and then we'll, again, repeat the process. All right, guys, so we just finished up, and we did get them. You can see here, 57 stat points into stamina, guys. That's the number we're looking for. Combined with the 53 melee and a male, slot number one is the one we're looking for. Let me get this one swapped out. We're gonna do it again with the weight. I just got done looking through these, and we did end up getting the male that we needed right here. 57 points into weight, 57 points into stamina, and 53 points into melee. It is a male, but do you guys also notice something? The egg health was 3.4%. I almost lost it. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Out of nine eggs, I almost really messed that up. Slot eight, let me get this swapped out. And then we're stacking on the health. And then once that's done, I'll bring you guys back when I have a fully stacked male and female ready to go for our mutation stacking. All right, guys, we did it just like that, 50, 57, 57, 53, all of our stat points the way we want them, all in one, and we have a male and a female. That's right, guys, where is it? Right here, there it is. So I'm gonna raise these up, guys, and then we're gonna go ahead and start building our mutation stacking army. So we just got done getting together our male and female group. So we have one perfect male right here in the middle. You can see this one here. And then all of these are females. So we have four total females. All of these have our stats, which means that we need mutations. So they're all gonna breed together and I'm gonna start mass collecting eggs. And then every time we get a mutation, we will see it in the machine. So let me show you guys, for example, we did end up getting a double mutation right here. As you can see, we have a mutation on both the male and female side. And one of them is a weight mutation. You can see we've got 50, 59, 57, 53, instead of 50, 57, 57, 53. Now, each stat mutation, guys, carries two stat points, both one from the male and one from the female. The weight got one stat point, and we know that the health, the stamina, and the melee are all the same, which means that the other stat points went into movement speed, oxygen, or food, which we don't care about. We're not going to keep this mutation for any reason. It doesn't do us any good. The other thing that you guys should understand is that we are trying to stack 20 mutations on both the mother and the father side. So we're gonna breed all of these together, and then when we get a male with the stat mutation we're looking for, we're gonna breed that back together with all of these females, and then that number will say one mutation out of 20 on the father side instead of zero. The most important thing, guys, is that we get the mutations stacked cleanly on each side. And as long as we're replacing the males, we'll be able to keep that mutation strictly on the patrilineal side. And then we can take the other stat and stack it on the other side. And the egg incubator will tell us when we get the male that we're looking for. We finally got what we were looking for. I was looking through this third box here and sure enough, we have a mutation right here on the end, slot number five. Now, we're looking at this, we're looking for a male, number one, that's a check, we have a male. Number two, we are looking for a mutation on either the health 
or the melee, which means there you go, guys, 55 points into the melee. And this male now needs to become our male outside. So let me go ahead and swap these out and I'll bring you back for some more breeding. This is the new male, and as soon as it grows up, we'll start the mating. But I did want to go ahead and show you. Now, we were at 285 with the melee, and you can see that melee boost. We are now at 295. And then if we go ahead and look at the show ancestors, you can see that we have one mutation on the patrilineal side and zero on the mom side. And that's how we're going to go ahead and try to keep it by just continuously using and swapping out the males. So one male one mutation, let's keep stacking. So we picked up another batch of eggs, guys, and I wanted to show you a couple things. Number one, you can see the number of mutations are already carrying over. So all of these are going to say mutation number one, mutation number one on the melee side of things, on the patrilineal side, which is where we have our first mutation. However, when we get another mutation, it is going to be a two. So that's what we have to look for. And right here, we actually do see that. Now, if we look at our stats, it is 50, 57, 53, which is not the melee we're looking for, and then 59 for the stamina. So there is a mutation, but it's not on the mutation that we're looking for at all. So none of these are going to work for us. Now, over here, I wanted to show you something pretty funny. We ended up with a double mutation, which means that instead of one, we have three total mutations over here. And if you look to the side, we got a melee mutation and a health mutation, which is ideal. But unfortunately, it's not ideal in the sense that it will complicate the process way, way, way too much. In fact, I want to keep them separate altogether. A double mutation is super tempting. But we don't want to do this, guys. We're actually going to not keep this, and we're going to keep going until we get a mail that says 57. The most important thing to remember about this method, guys, is that we have to stick to the mutation that we start stacking. So we've started stacking the melee mutation, and that's what we're going to stick with solely the melee mutation. All right, guys, so I have been working like crazy going through all of these eggs, and you know what? We finally got what we were looking for. That's right, guys. We finally got our two melee mutations. So you can see, guys, we have a male, and we have two mutations total now, and then 55 has now gone to 57 melee, means that this male is the male we need to start breeding with. We have to keep adding the melee mutations until we can't get any more. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep stacking and keep stacking and keep stacking. So let me get this set up and I'll bring you back in a second. All right, guys, we did it. As promised, like I said, we are right back at it. We have three total mutations and our melee stat now says 59. So let me go ahead and get out egg slot number nine, swap out these males, and then we're gonna keep going and keep mutating. So far, so good. Finally got it done. I cannot believe it. All 20 melee mutations on one giga. That's right, guys. Melee 20. This one's actually a female. It's how it turned out. But you know what? I'm not picky at this point. It took absolutely forever. And as you can see, zero on the matrilineal side and 20 on the patrilineal side. I am going to have to show you guys when we're working with the health mutations how to actually move those over to the matrilineal side for the health so that we have 20 and 20 on our final stacked giga. But the first 20 are in the books and it was 93 stat points into melee when it was all said and done. One down, one to go. Let's go fire up these females and get the health going. All right, now starting on the health mutations, we are doing the exact same thing, guys. We go back to our perfect male and our perfect female and we start all over again. Except this time we're looking for males with health mutations. And then once we get a few mutation stacks going on the health side, I'm gonna show you guys how to move them over to the matrilineal side. So stay tuned, let's get this going. So at this point, guys, I wanted to show you that we have gotten our eighth mutation on our health stack. You can see 66 points into health right there. 
However, this is a female. Now, I told you guys I wanted to show you how to move all of these mutations over to the matrilineal side. And the first step is to get the mutation you're looking for on a female. That's right. This whole time we've been looking for the male with the right stat. This time we need a female with the right stat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to breed them with an unleveled perfect male. That's right. I kept our original perfect male. Now we're going to pull that out and we're going to breed that back with this one here. As you can see with this egg, guys, we have a male version of the Giga we were looking for. And specifically, we have moved all of our mutations over to the matrilineal side. So this is the process of moving stacks back and forth. It always has to do with an unmutated perfect male or perfect female. I wanted to show you the process because before it's all said and done, our final, final, final stack 20 has to be a female in order for me to move these over to the matrilineal side and then combine them with the patrilineal melee that I have outside. A little bit more work to do. Let me get it going. I'll see you in a sec. All right, guys, you see it here. We have it. It's finally done. 20 total mutations, 90 total stat points into our health mutation. Absolutely fantastic, guys. And it is the female we need. At the very end here, I needed a female to mutate back with a non-mutated male, which then moves them all back over to the female side, which you'll see here in a second. I'll go ahead and throw this into the egg incubator, and then we'll see that all of the mutations are now moved over to the female side, just like that, guys. But I'm gonna be a little picky. I do need a male. This is a male. I want that really funky orange color. So I'm actually gonna collect up a bunch more eggs. I'll bring you back when we have the one we want. All right, guys, what we've all been waiting for, the final stacking, we have 20 health mutations and 20 melee mutations. And what we have to do is combine them together. That's right, guys. We wanna have a perfect 2020. Make sure to stay tuned because I'm about to put this thing to the test. All right, guys, we finally got it done. I have created an army of epic gigas. Let me show you guys how I did it. So that was our perfect male and female that were full of stat mutations, both on our health and our melee, 20 on each. Now, at this point, guys, we have unleveled gigas. So let's go ahead and level one up and see exactly how strong this is. Now, the good thing about these is that I actually don't have to waste any levels at all into health because of our imprint buff. We're gonna pop all of the levels into the melee and we're gonna see exactly how strong this thing can get. And then the final step after it is all said and done, we will once again throw in some mutagen and feed it to the Giga. And guess what? We're gonna get four more levels, just like that guys, over 500, absolutely epic. And I wanna show you exactly what that looks like. Check it out. Okay, so 2438 guys is the damage on the original Giga. Boom! That's right, guys. 12K damage now from our brand new Giga Army. 12K per. And obviously, this is not mate boosted at all. So, oh my gosh. These things are going to be absolutely unstoppable. This thing is absolutely epic. Make sure to hit that like button for me. And of course, smash that subscribe button. I hope this helps, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I'll see you guys in the next one.